Hello, we will talk today about the third key of the keys group that I made to dominate the German language. Today, the third key is sources of professionalism, of German pronunciation. And how to pronounce when you learn a new language is very important and most of people think that grammar and vocabulary are more important than the pronunciation. But in fact, pronunciation can destroy all that you learn or can make the last touches for your achievement in any language. I made special rows to let you understand the pronunciation very good. Then I give you in my course dictionaries with programmed electronic pronunciation. Then I give you also many dictionaries with recorded real pronunciation. So it, they are better. Then I give you dictionaries adopt written phonetic symbols. And these are very precise. These are the best. But maybe you find the phonetic symbols take time. So maybe you prefer the second group, the recorded real pronunciation. And when you don't find a word in these dictionaries, you will go to the third group and understand the pronunciation from the phonetic symbols. Like here, the symbol at left and here an example at right. And here you can hear the voice. And now compare with the second, here the symbol, and here an example, this word and this word are same, but here the real word and here the word with the symbol. So here you can hear. Bahn. Here there is extension because you find these two dots. There is extension. Here hat, here ban. And like this, every symbol. This program, I have programmed for you and I give you this program course to let you download it in Microsoft PowerPoint and you can use these buttons Uber. as you want. This is you take it in the course free when you pay for the course. So all of those are simple that are especially for a precise pronunciation. Also, I give you in the course keys I discovered in order to gain the professional German pronunciation. I have discovered that there are many rules in pronunciation, but I discovered that the institutes in general don't give these precise rules of pronunciation. For example, look at this word. Most of learner, they pronounce this word Einverstanden, but when you hear a real pronunciation in this dictionary, for example, you conclude a rule how to deal with such a word. You will conclude it not from one word when you hear many thousands words. Einverstanden. You stress on ein. Einverstanden. This is the first rule. The second rule, we don't say fair. We omit the er. And the third rule here, you cannot say den, ein verstanden. You must say verstanden. You try to omit the letter A. Not den, but den. Ein verstanden. Ein verstanden. Ein verstanden. And also you can see this another dictionary. Ein verstanden. Here, more complex. Ein verstanden. There is additional air. We should not make like this complex pronunciation. The last pronunciation was good. Here also ends with N, but here another rule. This dictionary. Leben. Not only he tries to omit the letter A, but also N makes it M. Here we extend this letter A, but here we try to omit it. Leben. Leben. But am I sure that it's M or I imagine that I hear it M? This is the second dictionary. Leben. Leben. If you think that we imagine, so look at the phonetic symbols. Here they write it M. So this is one benefit of a phonetic symbols that you, when you see it, you will be sure that this is the very precise pronunciation. The third word, we try to omit A, common. 
not comen or you choose com and i prefer com because i hear it so much in tv or youtube and the most learners don't use it in general so when you use it the german people maybe think that you are native german citizen but come from another city of german country or austria or like this but maybe you will ask me if we pronounce it come so how we pronounce this come come without stressing without duplication for the m here come but the last come you can compare come 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 with duplication with stress this for plural this video was only an idea about the very precise pronunciation and if you watch this video at the course itself you can continue watching the rest of videos to be able to dominate this beautiful language